Okay, this is a 3.2 of unit 3, uh, sine, cosine and tangent. So, let's start with this question. Uh, this figure shows uh, a center, uh, the circle centered at the origin with an angle measured in standard position and um, the terminal ray of the angle intersects at P and the coordinates of P are x, y and the coordinates of Q are negative x, uh, sorry, x negative y. So, the following is true about sine of theta. It's more about the definition of sine, right? We know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, what will be the opposite? It is the height, correct? And height is nothing but the y coordinate. And the x coordinate is clearly this one. So, this is x, this is y. And if we notice carefully, the radius is 7, right? The radius of the circle is 7, which means that this point will also be, uh, uh, this, this length will also be 7 this length op will also be 7 because this length is 7 that's basically the radius so we know that sine theta is going to be the opposite which is y over hypotenuse which is y uh, which is 7 so let's see it has to be d because sine theta is y over 7 because it's the ratio of the vertical displacement of p from x axis to the distance between the origin and p so that's uh, that's more like a definition so that is the correct choice um, likewise, over here, similar question, uh, the coordinates of P are given to us and uh, the radius of the circle is 5. What is the value of cosine of theta? Now, what is theta here? Uh, the theta is, is, uh, is measured in a, uh, in a standard position for uh, the terminal, a terminal ray ending at Q. So, for OQ, this is the theta, correct? This is the theta. Okay. Now, what is cos of theta? We know cos of theta is um, adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, so, for this, uh, for this angle, the adjacent and the hypotenuse is basically the uh, radius of the circle, right? So, hypotenuse is nothing but the radius. So, that's going to be uh, 5. So, it has to be something over 5. And now, we have to look for the adjacent side. Uh, so, for the adjacent, if we notice where, how the angle is being made, this is the angle, right? And the terminal point is this. So, in order to find the adjacent, we drop this terminal point over on the x-axis and measure this length, correct? Measure this length. Uh, what is this then? This is 4, 3. So, this is an entire reflection about the y-axis. Uh, obviously, because these are symmetrically placed. So, this is negative 4, 3 because the height is still the same. So, this length will be negative 4 because after all, this is the x coordinate. So, the adjacent will be negative 4. So, this should be our answer. It should be negative 4 over 5, which should be option A. I hope you understand the hypotenuse because that's just the radius of the circle, which has to be always 5. Okay, uh, here we are given, uh, again, I think the same story, uh, the terminal ray is the one that ends at P. So, this is what we are talking about. Uh, the coordinates of P are x, y and the coordinates of R are negative x, y. So, which of the following is true about the cosine of theta. So, again, cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, we very well know that the hypotenuse has to be 3 because that is the radius of the circle. And the adjacent is going to be this and this is nothing but the x coordinate x coordinate and this is the thing but the y coordinate so the cosine of theta will be adjacent which is x over hypotenuse which is 3 so it is x over 3 uh, because of the ratio of horizontal displacement from the y axis uh, to the distance between you know, that's absolutely correct so it has to be option a over here uh, we are given uh, a line that is connecting p and r and the terminal ray of the angle intersects at R. Terminal ray of, okay, this is a terminal ray. So, this is the angle theta that we are talking about. Uh, the coordinates of P are given and the radius of the circle is given. So, they are asking what is the value of tan of theta. So, that's fine. Tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Uh, we know that the opposite and this is the angle, right, that we are talking about. This is the angle, this one. So, when we talk about the opposite, that has to be this height and adjacent has to be this one. Both are negative, of course. 
since P and R are symmetrically placed about this, so if the coordinates of P are 5, comma 12, so the coordinates of R, which is in quadrant 3, of course, so it has to be both negative, so negative 5, negative 12. So the tan of theta is going to be opposite, which is the height in this case, which is negative 12, over adjacent, which is this, which is negative 5, of course, that's the adjacent. So the tan theta is negative 12 over negative 5, so tan theta is just 12 over 5. So this has to be option D. Similar grounds, we have this question, we need to find the cos theta here without even reading this, we can obviously figure out what they're asking. Theta is something like this, so we know that it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is clearly 5 because that is the radius and uh, x value for the terminal ray ending at R, this has to be the x value. Uh, the coordinates of P are x, y and R are negative x, y. So this has to be negative x. So cos theta is adjacent, which is negative x over hypotenuse, which is 5. So it has to be negative x over 5, which is option B. Over here, uh, this is the theta clearly ending at S. And they are asking the coordinates of P are given. P and S are obviously symmetrically placed. What is the value of sine of theta? So sine of theta has to be opposite over hypotenuse. Clearly, the hypotenuse has to be 17 because that's the radius of the circle. And opposite for this point S, the opposite is this side, right? This height, in other words. Um, so uh, I think the height will be same except it will be negative. So since this is 8 unit, this will be minus 8 units. So this has to be negative 8 in that case, opposite over hypotenuse. This has to be negative 8 over 17, which is option A. Similar question, I think similar arrangement. Uh, this is theta and they are asking what is sine of theta, except this is in terms of x and y. So the hypotenuse is of course 14. So sine theta will be opposite over hypotenuse and hypotenuse is 14. And the opposite is in this case, for P it is X, Y and for S it is X minus Y. So opposite has to be this height, which is minus Y. And that's what we are going to write over here because that's negative Y. So negative Y over 14, option D. Over here, we need to find tan of theta. So tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Uh, for P, the coordinates, uh, for Q, the coordinates are negative X comma Y. So the height is negative Y. Sorry, the height is Y and the, this length is minus X. So for tan theta, we will do opposite over adjacent. And opposite is Y, obviously, for the terminal point. You can see that the opposite is y and the adjacent is minus x. So the answer is y over negative x, which is option C. Over here, we are given a square shape symbol. We have to find that what is the cosine of the angle whose terminal ray intersects at Q? Uh, I see. We have to find cosine of this one while uh, this is given to us and the coordinates 6 comma 8 and the radius of 10 is given but they are asking what is the cosine of this angle so don't you think for this angle i know that the coordinates will be negative 6 comma 8 and for this angle and cosine i'm looking for adjacent which is obviously negative 6 units and hypotenuse which is just going to be 10 always because that's the radius so the cosine is going to be adjacent which is negative 6 over hypotenuse which is 10 which can also be written as negative 3 over 5. Okay, same graph we have to find the sine of the angle with the terminal ray intersecting as s so this one so that's fine here the coordinates will be the x will become same and y x will remain same and the y will change the sign so for sine of theta it should be opposite over hypotenuse hypotenuse is just 10 and the opposite for this one for s is going to be this height which is the y coordinate 
so which is negative 8 so the answer is negative 4 over 5 then we need to find the tangent uh, of the point q so q is again here uh, we already marked this as negative 6 comma 8 so the tangent is going to be the opposite which is going to be the height 8 over adjacent which is going to be negative 6 over here so the tan of theta will be 8 over negative 6 which is 4 over negative 3 uh, cosine of the angle with the point of s we just did s right yeah this one so if sine is this cosine will just be the only difference is it will have an x coordinate and x coordinate is clearly 6 so the answer will be 6 over 10 of course right so this cosine of theta will be 6 over 10 because this is 6 comma uh, 8 sorry negative 8 so the adjacent is 6 which is 3 over 4 sine of r so r is here this will be negative 6 negative 8 so opposite will be this height which is going to be negative 8 and hypotenuse is obviously 10 so the answer is negative 4 over 5 and finally the tangent of the same angle so it's just opposite which is negative 8 and adjacent which is negative 6 over here this is the adjacent uh, so tan of theta is going to be opposite which is negative 8 opposite over adjacent which is negative 6 so that's just 4 over 